Hello? What are you doing here? What am I doing here? What are you doing here? Well, I got kicked out of my apartment. I had nowhere else to go. I would have called you straight away, but I didn't know where you lived or where you worked even. You're the waitress, Gwen? Oh, excuse me, I thought we'd been introduced. Uh, no, I recognize you, it's just you. Yeah, well, I had to get out of there because, you know, Carol and I had a real difference of opinion on when he could show up to my place and where he could put his hands while he was there. Didn't you have any friends you could go to? I've only been in Boston for three weeks. I told you that. I don't know anybody. All I had was that cute little drawing you did of this place and I just knew it was sitting here all alone, not doing anything. Where did all this furniture come from? Bigelow's. No, no. How did it get here? Well, some kind of furniture stand? I'll pay you back, okay? Don't worry about it. The guys are coming tomorrow, by the way, to put Bobo's dog door in. What is happening here? Well, if you would just listen to me. I'm listening, I'm listening. Okay, well, I was feeling a little bit hungry. So I went to Keller's Market to pick up some peanut butter and stuff, and that's when I overheard Hazel telling Travis. Whoa, whoa. Hazel? Yes, your piano teacher, Hazel. Great gal. I don't know if you heard about her son, Stewie. My God, what he put that poor woman through. Wait, wait. <laughs> Go back to the grocery store to the part where Mrs. Byron tells Mr. Keller. Okay, well, she told him to put it on her account. You charge the groceries to me. Yeah, well, what else was I supposed to do? I was what hungry. What did you say to him? How did you get him to do it? Well, I guess he was under the impression that I was your... Insane! No. Uh, I told him to go ahead and put it on our account. Our account? <laughs> well, it seemed harmless. You told him you were my wife? Well, what was I supposed to do? Huh? You tell me! And he believed you? Why wouldn't he believe me? What, am I not good enough to be your wife? No. Well. Yeah, well. Travis thinks I'm good enough to be your wife. And Harvey and Lorraine think I'm good enough. The coffee table. What about the coffee table? It's my mother's! Yes, I know. I don't like it either. But all of this represents a compromise. You know your mother. My parents think we're married? But it's not so bad. Come on, everything will be fine. Gwen, uh, would you get your feet off the furniture? Gwen, Gwen, you can't stay here. Why not? I hardly know you. What do you mean? Where the hell am I supposed to go? As if I hardly know you. Look, Gwen. I'm, I'm terribly sorry about my behavior. It's been a really rough time for me, and this isn't helping. Okay, look, I've got a hundred bucks. Yeah. Just uh, here's a hundred bucks to just help you back on your feet. Okay, go ahead and take it. What is this? Payment for services rendered? Oh come on! Huh. Well, I don't want your goddamn money. Okay? No, just my goddamn house. Uh. <laughs>